Previously, we learned how to handle errors gracefully using error.tsx. While some errors are serious, others might be temporary and can be fixed with a simple retry. Let's take a look at how to recover from such errors. Apart from the error prop, the error boundary in error.tsx provides us with another useful prop, a reset function. The type is a function that returns void. We can make use of this reset function by adding a button in our JSX that triggers it on click. We're going to wrap the message in a paragraph tag and add a button. The text is try again. And on click, we're going to call the reset function. This button gives users a way to retry rendering the component in page.tsx. If we head to the browser and reload until we hit the error, you will notice a try again button. When clicked, it attempts to re-render the review ID component. However, if we keep clicking, we will keep hitting the error again and again. This is because the retry function will attempt to re-render client side. But converting the review ID component to a client component just to handle errors is a bit overkill. To attempt server-side recovery, we will need to rely on start transition from React and use router from Next.js. Here is how we can do it. Start by importing use router from Next Navigation and start transition from React. Then within the component, we define a router constant by calling use router. Const router is equal to use router. Next, we define a reload function that wraps router.refresh and reset call inside start transition. So start transition, this accepts a function where we call router.refresh and reset. Make sure these lines are outside the return statement. The reload function ensures that the refresh is deferred until the next render phase, allowing React to handle any pending state updates before proceeding. Finally, we update the onClick handler to call the reload function. Now, if we head to the browser and reload until we hit the error, you will notice a try again button. When clicked, it attempts to re-render the review ID component. If our random number isn't one, we will recover from the error and see the actual page content. Of course, this could just be the reload function, but I hope you found this useful. All right, we've got more interesting aspects of error handling to cover, so let's keep going. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.